Bonjour à tous, vous regardez Baby Boy Music TV et je suis BJ. Aujourd'hui, je suis avec Dirella. Dirella, c'est un chanteur nigérien qui est en France en ce moment. Donc euh, voilà, il a un show le vendredi prochain, le 3 octobre, au, au club, dans le club Titon. Donc, euh, how are you doing, Dirella? How are you enjoying France? So, Dirella is the king of Zanga. Zanga is um, like Mushi, Lagos. Zanga is my hood, my environment where I grew up from. Um, my environment that made me the product I am today. You know, so I'm so proud of it today. You know, that's why I'm the king of So, um, you've been here for a while now. Like, you've been in France for a while now. So, are you here on vacation or are you here for the I'm here on my trip. Okay. Yeah, I've been here for like, um, I think we got in like, um, Okay. Um, of this month. This month. Okay. Then after that, we we had a show at uh, Titan on the fifth. Okay. Then from there, we went to um, we went to Germany. We came back last week. And um, having a show again in Paris on the third. And um, we're going to Switzerland. From Switzerland, we're going to Italy. So we're kind of like migrating to the next location, connecting. So if you don't know, you have to go there next week, Friday, uh, teacher club, you will see the teacher, okay. Then you, like, you see the address, then you keep it the address, then you buy it, like, it's, it's going to be fantastic. So, uh, so how will you describe your music? You know, so there are some people that haven't seen you before, like, you know, like, French people like to go to, uh, like, they like to go music. So if they're watching this, well, how will you describe your music? Like, yeah, my, my my kind of music I call it um, I call it job music like it puts you into like um, a job like you know like it puts you in the mood you might not actually really understand what I'm saying because most of my songs I put English and um, my own um, native language and the, Yoruba. Yoruba and the pigeon I mix them all together because of because of tours and you know communications and you know you know, trying to interact with other people that really actually don't speak my kind of language. Yeah. You know, so that's why I call my kind of music job music. Like through my rhymes and my music, you can. I mean, even though you don't understand what I'm saying, you can pick some one or two things yeah. from me, and you know that yeah, this guy is actually making sense. Yeah, and you can only dance with that. Oh, well, I can dance with this. Yes, yeah, because I'm flexible. Like, where we come from, we dance with all this happy every day of our lives. Yeah, that's true. Yes. And um, you know, for, I, I just want to know for how long have you been doing this? Because you've been, you've been like, you've been the bomb, like you've been the mm -hmm. for a while now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like you've seen the uh, love with uh, with the one my best, like my favorite. Joe. Joe. Yeah. 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 That's true. So, since when have you been doing this? Yeah. Wow. I've actually been doing this for a very long time in my life. You know, but really and truly, when I was little, I didn't really actually know. They really, I, I don't really know how heavy music was. Because when I actually started, it was just like, you know, normal thing, you know, normal inspiration that came around. Most of the times when you're, you know, when you're lonely, you know, when you're sad or when you're bored, I listen to music and I develop all these kind of inspirations, you know, that come so hard, you know, I turn into desperation and, you know, it became a part of me. But I really don't understand yet then that it was going to be so, so, so big. Yeah. Not until, you know, when I won the MTV base, the same advance morning, when I got my recording deal, you know, and I won the MTV base, then I don't want it. everybody on the internet, you know, YouTube, Facebook, following me, you know, everywhere, yeah. you know, <laughs> like I'm spicy, you know, so I've, I've been, actually, I've been doing music for a long time, all my life, but, you know, I didn't really actually know it was going to get so big like this. And I pray to you. I pray to you. So, I would like to know, are you single? Hmm. Now, this is asking me questions, <laughs> questions I'm not supposed to be answering on air. You know, like, maybe you guys would, like, I don't know, maybe girls, like, they are looking at you, oh my god, you're handsome, mm. you realize in Paris, mm. so I don't know. Like, Am I handsome? Yes, you're handsome. Oh my yeah. god. 
My ex girlfriend told me I, I'm, I'm not even close to her, so that my head is too big. She was joking. Look at your head, you're just white. Okay, let me ask you, so are you single? Maybe we'll come to the car. If I'm single. <laughs> No, I'm not I'm, 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 I'm in love with Jesus. You're in love with Jesus? Yeah. I'm in love with the capital G-O-D-2. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm single. I'm single. I'm single. My girlfriend right now is in the music, you know? Yeah. So, like, you have to work very hard, you know? kind of feel I am. You have to work very hard because you're not going to tell your girlfriend no stories when she says she wants um, pearls, iPhone 6. those iPhone 6. You know, so <laughs> as in no excuses. Yeah. So you just have to get all these things. So really and truly right now, I think I'm 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 very very in love with my music, my career, so that somebody can get it for me and me too, so that you know I can be, you know, at at disposal anytime. You know, she wants it and I can get it for her. <laughs> so right now I'm still working, working hard, yeah. you know, to get to the top. Yeah, and now like to you know, like work. Like what kind of music? Like you know, you you you, you sing to, but the kind of artist that you like, like Nigerian artists that you listen to, is the songs. Yeah, actually, um, I listen to a whole lot of national songs. Like um, I listen to Alamini, I listen to the band. The band is actually my favorite. Yeah, actually, because he has always been my friend for a very long time. Because me and Don Jazz and the branch, we used to go together back in the days, 2004, in the days of the Tom Day, before I um, went to uh, back to motion to, you know, to actually write most of my songs that give me my record in the today. So, like, I listen to the band a lot, I listen to Whiskey, Whiskey, we actually had a song together too. Yeah. Timaya, one of my favorite two, Two Face. Oh my god, Two Face actually when I was young, actually when I was young, then when I was still on the streets singing when I had no album, Two Face would be one of my you know one of my um, role models I listen to him most of the times. Probably because I know them too are from the streets and you know, they did all these things outside outside inside the streets and they came outside and became their own. So Two Face is part of the people that make me actually believe in myself that for the fact that we came out from the ghetto, from the slum, from the from the streets, you know, there's no mean we couldn't make it, there's no mean we couldn't get there. Because back in the days the way you know, people used to picture these access things as well. So the picture the makers used to feel like, oh, to be an artist, you have to be big, you have to have the, the biggest connectivity or positivity in the whole world. But man, everything just kept working for those niggas, for those guys, sorry, for those guys, and you know, eventually they became a superstar. So I can actually say, Two Face, actually, was my role model of when I was in Nigeria. That really actually made me believe in myself. Like, yeah, because I'm from the street doesn't mean I couldn't make it. Yeah. You know, because I know a lot of my friends that gave up on me when I was young. That said, yeah, you don't see me. Nothing is gonna come out from me. It's just, it's just wasting time. But today, I thank God today. I thank God. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Can you name five things you can live without? Five things that I can't live without. Yeah. Music. Food. <laughs> God. Yeah. Um, money. Yeah. And my family. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. You expect me to say what? <laughs> yeah. Um. So thank you for uh, your time. And I, I just want to ask you something you know, because people are looking at us. Some what you just said really touched me, and I hope you touch them too. Like it, it's not because you come up like you, you're from the streets that doesn't mean you can become a celebrity or something. When God said something is going to happen, it's going to happen. Sure. Just, you just have to be patient. So I want you to like give us some advice, you know, the keys to become a celebrity. Okay. To keep to my the key to my own, to my own um, success. Yeah. I stick to my Psalm 91, which is said that he that dwelleth under the secret place of the most high God shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And my Psalm 51, anytime I'm you know, on the streets doing what I'm not supposed to be doing, you know, the streets, but the streets is very naughty sometimes. I go at night before I lay down on my bed, I pray to God and I read my Psalm 51, which says, um, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, forgive me for my sins and all that. Then, um, thirdly, they said, Good things come to those that wait. And those that have patience, 
I mean, it might be, it might be that last day that you were, you were about to like give up yeah. and think maybe God is not even by your side. It might be that time God really actually wanted to answer you. And because you're turning back and you don't have the patience, the whole thing might just blow up. So you really have to have patience in life, take things easy, be polite, and dream big. Focus. Once you focus and try and stay away from dirty things, stay away from drugs, stay away from bad people, trust me, you're gonna make it. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Before I leave you, I want you to sing for me. Okay. I want you to sing um, a song for me. Which one? You have Queen of Mazanga? Mm, yeah. You want the Queen of Mazanga? Yeah, because I'm, I'm from Zanga too. You're from you know? Zanga? Yeah. You want enemies? No. You want, I don't. You want the Queen of Mazanga? Yeah, I want that one. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know the reason why I want. Yeah, you know the reason why that I want you to be my Zanga queen. You too basky and so you be like ice cream. You're the kind of girl that I want to give my love to. I'm telling you, you're too beautiful. At the same time, you're so wonderful. I do appreciate you. I do value you from your down to your toes. I do feel so right when I look into your eyes. Make a beat, I wanna love you. Place no one above you. Me that I love Love you, always be around you, hold you, love you, baby. Please imagine you. Would you be the queen? Be see of my own girl. Why would I say no? Oh my God! I'm going She's to just say teasing yes. me. Don't mind her. I'm She's going to say yes. On the, on on the I'm head. I'm going to say yes. She's just teasing. Me. Thank you very much you're for welcome, your time, and I wish you good luck and have Thank fun. You. I don't know, eat because you like eating. I like eat eating lots of chicken, food. I'm going to buy you candy. So oh my god! Get fat oh, you for real? Yeah, so they'll know it. Took very good care of you in France. Sure. Thank you very much. Donc c'est fini pour aujourd'hui, donc rendez-vous le 3 octobre au Club Titan, donc il sera là, durant là. Donc euh, voilà, merci de nous avoir suivis et euh, on se retrouve une prochaine fois sur euh... Baby Boy Music TV. Merci Life. beaucoup, bye bye. Bisous à tous.